السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Today إن شاء الله we are going to study unit three about the soil. Lesson one soil components. This is the soil. As you see, there are plants that grow in the soil. So what's meant by soil? What is the soil? It's a thin layer. Number two, it has spaces between its particles, so it's a non-compacted or loose layer. Number three, it's an upper layer, so we can say that soil is thin, non-compacted or loose, superficial or upper layer, which covers the earth crust. So, this is the definition of the, of the soil. We have different types of soil. Soils are different in color and texture. Let's see some examples. These examples of soil. They are different in the texture. Some of them, some of them is smooth. Others are granular, like the sand or rocky texture. So this is the texture of the soil. Soil is made of. It contains what? It contains small pieces of rocks. It contains air, contains water, and contains another. Component which is called humus. What is the humus? It's a decayed remains of plants and animals. So, when plants and animals are dead or become dead in the soil, they become humus. So, these decayed remains of the plant and animals are called humus. The decayed materials of dead or of dead organisms when they become humus. They add nutrients to the soil. So humus are very important for the soil because it provides the soil with the nutrients. These are the components of the soil in order. When you put an uh, assemble of soil in a jar containing water, this is the component of the soil. Number one is the humus, which we said it is a decayed remains of animals and plants and they affect the color of the soil. They make the soil brown or dark black. Water, mud, silt, sand, and gravels. What is the importance of soil? Can we live without soil? No. Soil without soil, plants cannot grow. Without plants, there would be no food for animals and the human that feed on them. Many organisms take the soil as a home. For example, some insects, earthworm, spiders, they make their home in the soil. So, soil is the main component of the environment. As we said, all living organisms need the earth's soil. For example, plant needs the soil because it need, plants need nutrients and minerals from the soil to grow. Also, animals feed on plants which depend on soil. Some animals, as we said, make their homes in the soil. So, soil is very important for all living organisms. Soil is formed from rocks by breaking down by which have been broken up into particles. By the effect of what? By the effect of heat, water, and wind. So, when I ask you, soil is formed from breaking down of rocks by the effect of these factors, heat, wind, and water. As we said that the plant grow in the soil, so roots of plant are very important, are very important for plant and important for the soil. Let's study the importance of roots of plant for the plant. Number one, the root push deep to take water and nutrients. So the roots are important for plant to absorb water and nutrients from the soil and also roots hold the plant in the soil. This is the importance of plant root for the plant. Okay, what about the importance of plant root for the soil? Roots hold the soil in place and decrease the soil erosion, prevent the soil erosion from happening quickly. Number two, 
roots add nutrients to the soil. When the roots become, when they, when the plant die, it becomes humus. And we said that humus add nutrients to the soil. There are some living organisms that live in the soil. For example, earthworms, some spiders, ants, and insects, other insects. What is their importance? The importance of the soil for them. What is the importance of the soil for them? They, by digging the tunnels, they make their homes underground and lay their eggs. What is the importance of these organisms for the soil and plant? The tunnels that they dig allow air, water, and nutrients to pass easily throughout the soil. These tunnels allow the root of plant to grow and get important materials. After death, they decay forming humus. Let's, let's work, uh, solve class work sheet 16. Question 1, write scientific term. Loose superficial layer of the Earth's crust. It will be soil. The decayed organisms mixed in soil components. Humus. Question 2 complete. The main soil components are what and what and what? Rocks, humus, and water. Humus adds what to the soil? Add nutrients. And is formed from what? Formed from decayed organisms mixed in the soil. Soil is a thin, loose layer or non-compacted layer, which covers what? Which covers the crust of the earth. Let's make classwork 17. Complete. Complete number one is cancelled. Let's make give reason. Give reason number one. Roots are important for the soil. What is the importance of the root for the soil? As they hold in hold the soil in its place, so they decrease soil erosion. Number two, when they die, they form humus and add nutrients to the soil. Question two, give reason. Microorganisms which that live inside the soil have a great importance. What is the importance of the living organism which live in the soil, as we said? As they dig tunnels in the soil, that allow air, water, nutrients to pass easily to the plants. Thank you and goodbye.